it's quite impossible to have some time to myself, you know, when I'm at home with my kids and I'm homeschooling them and I'm cleaning and I'm cooking and I'm preparing and organizing. And it's like, it's like a never ending symphony of like, I don't want to say chaos, but I guess busyness. I'm always constantly busy that I have an internal conflict with rest. It's so hard for me to rest. So yesterday's Bible verse where it says, be still and know that I am God. I struggle with that because it's like, how can I be still? Like there's always noise around me and there's always, you know, mom, I need this or hey, uh, he hit me or oh, it was by mistake. And then it's like all this like uh, the the homeschooling and the teaching and uh, okay let's what is this what is this divided by that and it's like it's a constant talking a constant like having to interact a constant doing and there is no such thing as be still so then today I started just writing in my journal and I just started I started reading uh the book switch on my brain and let me go ahead and have a sip of coffee because I'm dying to have coffee. Okay. So, uh, let me flip through this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. The DMN. Okay. The, that's the default mode network. The DMN is a primary network that we switch into when we switch off from the outside world and move into a state of focused mindfulness. Okay. You become mindful. You're focusing on your present. It activates to even a, it, sorry, it activates to even higher levels when a person is daydreaming, introspecting, or letting his or her mind wander in an organized exploratory way through the endless maraud of thoughts within the mind. It's a directed, deeply intellectual focusing inward and tuning out of the outside world. It is a cessation from active external, which is like the Sabbath when we switch off from the world and focus on God. How in the world, when I read this, I'm like, okay, how in the world can I focus on God when I have all these struggles, issues that I'm dealing with, kids are noisy, I need to homeschool, although I love it, I love homeschooling, it's one of the things that brings me the greatest joy, I love being home with my kids, I love, I love doing it all, I love being a, I love being a mom, I love being a wife, I love being at home, but it is so exhausting, how in the world can I just shut everything off and focus, right, now listen to this, in this directed state, let me read that again. In this directed state, you focus inward, you introspect, and you appear to slow down. But actually, this is what's interesting. When you're focusing and you're just wandering your mind, you're daydreaming and you're thinking inward, it appears as, if, as though you're slowing down, okay? But actually, your mental resources speed up and your thinking moves on to a higher level. When you think in this way, when you pause your activity and enter into a directed rest, you will emerge far ahead of where you would have been if you just operated within the realms of a shifting, shuffling, limited conscious, cognitive mind. This is the state of being still and knowing that he is God. Okay, let me... This is the state, okay, when you're actually deeply focused. That's the state of being still and knowing that he is God. But I'm like, wait a second. If this is a state that I need to be in to be still, to actually bring that Bible verse from theory to life, that's when I can know that he is God, is when I am still. So then I went, I went ahead and started writing, right? Because I'm like, wait, this is something I struggle with. I don't know if this is you, but I struggle with uh, some rest, right? So now I started writing. When you know, it says, be still and know that I am God. 
and no in the bible no the word no like i know you i knew my wife when they when they use that language i had when i was doing a bible study of years ago um it was talking about that no the word no is very it's like intimate it's like personal so i'm here thinking okay be still okay let me be still let me just focus you know my thoughts on especially when i'm journaling which i recommend start journaling or just write and just focus your thoughts enter this deep focus on like thoughts maybe things that you want to accomplish maybe a project maybe something that you want to launch something that you want to release into the world a dream that god has given you think about that write about that right but i'm thinking okay so let me be still and know that i am god i need to know god and to know god when you know god that's what that's what started happening to me this morning so who is god and i started writing everything down i want to know god right because amid my chaos amid my day-to-day -day stress i want to be able to rest not only my mind but i want to be able to rest in knowing that god has got me you know what i'm saying so who is god god is powerful but he's not just powerful he is all powerful all knowing he knows it all loving he is faithful he is merciful he is just truthful he is eternal he is all you need he is all i need right so if he is all you need and he's all i need it means that everything that we seek in our day to day whether it's peace whether it's joy whether it's happiness whether it's a moment to rest it's found in who he is it's found in god and if we meditate on who god is and we're like wait a second for me this i i i want i, I hope this translates this way because I want to know I want you to know that God has got you. Like that's what I felt this morning. I was like, "Wait a second. You know what God wants me to know? I got you." You know why I I wanted to share this because I thought I started thinking about it and I'm like, "Wait a second. When my kids ask me for something and they're like, "Mom, you know, I want something." Or they're very persistent. You know how we're really persistent and we're like we're persistent in our prayer and we're like Oh God, you know, please, you know, I, I need this. I want this. God, in the name of Jesus, I declare, blah, blah, blah. And we're very persistent with a specific prayer, right? Well, kids are the same way. And what I started realizing, I'm like, wait a second. What is it that I tell my kids? When I hear it over and over again, I, I tell my son or my daughter, I'm like, don't worry, I got you. Don't ask me again, I got you. I know what you want. and that in going back to that i was able to rest this morning in knowing that i can be still i can focus on the lord i can focus on who he is he's got me he's got you he knows what you need he is all knowing he is all powerful he can make things happen for you he is faithful we just have to wait for the right time for god's timing and for his will to be done in our lives but that is so hard like resting especially when you have a busy life it's so hard to find rest but guess what it needs to be at the top of your to-do list what's a priority to just rest sit down be able to deeply focus on who god is in your life who is he to you it's very different to know of god than to know god when you know god it's it all changes because when my kids my kids know me when i tell them hey i got you don't worry i got you they're like okay mom they already know that i'm planning something they already know that it's already in the works they already know that i, I that i am aware of what they what they want and they know i'm going to fulfill whatever it is that they're asking me at the right time god is the same way god works in the same way god wants to tell you today you know what i got you don't worry i know what you want i know what you need just wait for me wait for the right time and that's what i wanted to bring you guys uh today because i felt like wow this is what god spoke to me today and i'm like i feel like more people need to hear this 
This is day seven of my 21 day brain detox. I hope you're following me through, but more than following through, do it with me. If you don't have the switch on your brain, go ahead and get your copy. And guess what? I just yesterday I ordered the workbook because they have a workbook. I, I put the link down below in the description and follow me on this journey. Do it with me. Grab a journal, start journaling every morning. Take the time to 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 be alone even if you have to go to your car which is what i do go to your car put some worship music on and just start writing whatever comes to your mind your dreams your hopes the things you want to change and come up with a plan i start writing like a little plan of how i want to make things you know how how i want to approach certain things to make those changes right what do i want to do every day i want to run you know three miles every day a mile every day a half a mile every day whatever the case may be start writing start resting your mind entering that that uh that, that those moments of deep reflection and deep thought pray read the word of god let's read scriptures together it is the best thing that you could do for your mind, for your brain, for your just your overall well-being. I hope this was helpful. I will see you on day eight. God bless. I have to record a video. Are you gonna let me record a video? Ow. Are you gonna let me record a video?